Toby. Polyester board. Screwdriver. So, as you can see, put a pretty big hole in it. I will do our board. Sorry, board. I didn't even ding it. Rock. If you do ding our board while you're surfing, um, don't worry about it too much because um, nothing in our boards will absorb any water. Okay, so you ding your water board. You pretty much can use your basic repair principles of any other surfboard construction. Just make sure you rough it up so the new resin will bond around the ding area. Tape off the ding. Add epoxy resin. Squeeze it in there. Nice, just like that. I like to take some nice flexible plastic too, put it over it. It also saves me time on repair, on sanding it afterwards. It makes it nice and flat. And I put some UV light on it. You can do this outdoors in sunlight, obviously, in the UV rays, or uh, inside in your garage with the UV light. Fairly cheap. These boards are really tough, and not only are they really tough and great travel boards, but they also surf great. I've been surfing mine all winter long, and I haven't got a single ding in it. Okay, so resin should be cured by now. You can use sandpaper or um, any kind of abrasive pad will work. I use three different grits. I start off with 120, <coughs> then 240 and 400. Didn't sand too much through the tape, so the rest of the hot coat is intact. Take it off. Voila. Back in the water. LibTech Waterboards were awarded a Travel Board of the Year from Outside Magazine. Um, they did extensive testing on all a bunch of other brands and we came out on top because we're the toughest. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.